Hello, greetings everyone. The latest Pokemon Legends ZA is finally here. And if you want to play this game into your PC, this is the perfect video to drill because I'm going to teach you everything you need to get started. So first of all, what you need are these files here. You need the Nintendo Switch firmware, the Nintendo Switch keys, which you get from your uh, Nintendo Switch console. You will need the latest build of Ubinx emulator and the NSP file of Pokemon Legends ZA, which you have purchased from a store, digital copy or a physical copy of the game. So um, again, before following this guide, I need you to pre-order or buy the game first and I need you to own the game actually. Okay, so once uh, you agree to this and that you have the game, just go to Google and let's get Ubing Emulator. So just type in Ubing Emulator. I always associate it with Ubing Emulator because this is the fork of Ubing. So just go to their GitHub page, click on it, and then just scroll down and look for the you can find a stable release here link so click on that and then just download the windows version so just here so since i have already uh installed Ujinx, i'm just gonna skip this part because i have already this file here so as you can see i have downloaded here so i'm just gonna open it over so to install Ujinx is just really simple just open the zip file and then create a new folder mine here is a Ryujinx fork 1925 folder here you can name it into Ryubinx folder and then all you have to do is just select all the files inside drag them here and then you will have um, the emulator installed into your PC now so since I have done this I'm just gonna skip this and let's um, set up Ryujinx emulator and optimize it so that it can run Pokemon Legends Z8 into our PC so I'm just gonna minimize this and I'm gonna open Ryubinx emulator so as you can see here, just here is uh, the Pokemon Legend ZA game. It's the base file version. I have not installed the DLC yet and the updates yet. So I just want to test out uh, the base version first. So uh, before you can play any Nintendo Switch games into this emulator, you will need to install these files here. You will need to have at least the latest key for at least 2.0.1 version of the Nintendo Switch keys and from a version which is 2.1.1, 20.1.1. Once you have that, we'll have to install this in Ujinx. Again, to get these files, you'll need to own a Nintendo Switch console. You should uh, install a custom firmware in it because without custom firmware, you cannot get this file. So be sure to own a Nintendo Switch, install a custom firmware, and then get all of that uh, system files from your switch transfer them into your PC so uh, If you don't know how to do that You don't know how to install a custom firmware and don't know where to get all of the three files here So I'm just gonna leave a QR code here in the screen Be sure to scan it with your QR code reader so that you will be redirected to the page wherein you can get all of these three files so be sure to follow all the instructions in the page so that you will get these three files here into your PC or into your phone if you used your phone in getting these files. So be sure to do that. So I'm just going to assume that you have all these files now. So let's install them in Ryubing Emulator. So to do this, um, we will need to install the keys first. So go to Actions, Install Keys, Install Keys here, this one, then create a folder, just drag and drop these files into that folder okay product keys and title keys actually you don't need the title keys anymore so just click on the front dot keys and hit open and it will say that we'll have to install this key file just hit yes and hit okay and then the next part is installing the firmware. So to do this, just locate this firmware file, whichever you have put this into your PC. So just go to actions again and install firmware. Install firmware from XDI or zip file. Click on that. And then locate the firmware zip file. So here it is. Hit open. And you will need to install this now. Hit yes. 
and it has successfully installed this firmware version, version 20.1.1. And your Ryubing emulator is now capable of playing Pokemon Legends ZA into your PC. So before we play this game, uh, we need to optimize our emulator so that it can run this game perfectly with no glitches and crashes. So to do that, just go to options and into the settings option. So in this part, I need you to pause the video and copy every setting that I'll show you here. So these are my interface settings. So there's nothing fancy on it. So the game directories is wherein you will store your Nintendo Switch file. So be sure to uh, put the directory file here or where you have put your XCI or NSP file format Nintendo Switch games. Once done, go to input. So I have connected my Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. It is better to use a Nintendo Switch Pro Controller uh, rather than mouse and keyboard because um, it's really hard to play with a Switch game with a keyboard and a mouse. So here are the settings that you need to change. So these are the dead zone settings. You have to change this into 0.20 so that there will be no issues to your controlling the game. So there will be no drifting. Okay, so once you're done, go to system. So here are my settings. Again, just pause the video and copy every setting you see here. Then I'm gonna go to the CPU part tab. So just check the PPTC. Boost uncheck, fastest unsafe, 100%. Go to graphics. So need to be set to Vulcan to properly run the game. You have a dedicated graphics card. Uh, your graphics back and multi threading should be on. Enable shit crash, enable macro HLE. I've set mine into uh, 1440p resolution, but if you have a lower end of a PC or laptop, then just change this to native. But for me, two times resolution is the best. So here are my settings here SMA Ultra, FSR, 16 times in anisotropic, anis, anisotropic filtering, and aspect ratio should be in 16 by 9. And go to audio settings. These are really simple settings, so just be sure to copy it here. And once you're done, hit apply and hit OK. Congratulations, your Ryubing emulator is now capable of playing any Nintendo Switch games, such as the latest Pokemon Legend ZA into your PC. So a little bit of disclaimer, I'll not be able to show you a gameplay of this game because uh, you all know that Nintendo has been really strict lately. And if I show you a gameplay of this game run in Ryubing, then my channel will be taken down and the videos will be taken down. So I hope you guys do understand on that part. But I am willing to show you a little bit of the loading screen, I mean the title screen of the game. I'm just gonna blur it so that Nintendo will not be able to hit me with a copyright strike. So now I am in the title screen of Pokemon Legends ZA. It's running for Foggy with no issues at all. So if you have some questions regarding the installation process of Pokemon Legends ZA into your PC, then just leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer all of them. Thank you for watching. See you next time and bye for now.